Packers lost a heartbreaker on Sunday, coming in with a 2-3 and three record. They know how much is at stake tonight against the Seahawks. Hey, don't you want to have a good time? how we wanted to start the season and that happens I've, I've been through worse it's just that I know what we're capable of and there is that urgency like ur the word urgency just means everything to me. you know it just tells me exactly what type of what type of time it is and uh, you know I think right now I just want us to be urgent I want us to be urgent in everything we do it's every single play treating it just like it's your last Welcome in, everyone. I'm Carissa Thompson alongside Tony Gonzalez, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Andrew Whitworth, and Richard Sherman. Oh, my gosh, you guys, we got a good game tonight. I am excited for this one, Sherm. I know you're happy to be home. This is always a game that you love between your two former teams. But for the Seahawks, five games in, who are the Seattle Seahawks under new head coach Mike McDonald? Subway presents... Prime Stories. This to tie at 23. Snap spot. Kick and lock. It's picked up and run the Oh, other way. good heavens. I just can't imagine how the coaches and the players feel right now. We don't got enough time to put our heads down. We got to keep our heads up, take it on the chin, move forward. We need to get better in a hurry. Purdy now looks left. Oh, got tipped up. It's intercepted. Toss to J.P. Mason. He fumbled the ball. And they blow a 13-point lead. And San Francisco's 0-2 in the division. I mean, we'd love to get pissed and do something about what just happened, but you can't. The next time we'll be able to do something is Thursday. Another second half collapse, but if they win on Thursday night, they're tied for first. We haven't played full complimentary football for four quarters, and we just have to play better. I think it's important for the identity of the Seahawks to win this game, and you got to run the football. You know, our running game has got to be the defining factor for our offense. Ken Walker, the third. Kenneth is one of the best backs in the league. I played against him the last couple years now, and I've seen him felt it. Mason breaks the tackle, runs through him. His style has an identity. The way he runs the ball. Run game is a mindset. It's like man versus man. Like, you're going to come down and hit someone in the face. Jake Moody hurt his leg. Out for the rest of the game. And the new kicker. He was the best in the workout. We're comfortable with him. So, hopefully he'll be ready for the moment. Do you have any hobbies? Watch football. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we know how big this rivalry is. Let it rip, man. Be you. It's always going to be a slug for us. When you play the Niners, we say it's a war of attrition. Can you outlast and outplay them? If we win this one, we're leading our division, so... It's great for the Niners. It's not a must win because your season's over if it's a must win, but it definitely feels like it. <laughs> this is the future of the NFC West. Hey, that's a rival with you. It's personal with these boys. Hey, we got to go to work. Hey. One, two, three, three. Yeah. Well, I'm the best corner of the game. I love me some me. <laughs> Lumen Field in Seattle on this Thursday night. A venue so loud, you can feel the sound. And their Seahawks 
come out of the field with quarterback Geno Smith at the helm and ready to do battle with Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers on Thursday Night Football. Al Michaels, Kirk Herbstreit, Kaylee Hart. I'm, well, the 49ers couldn't wind up in the Super Bowl again, but they have dug themselves an early season hole. Two wins, three losses, two blown double-digit leads. Christian McCaffrey has still not played it down. Return date is still uncertain. Dr. Herbstreit, <laughs> what does this patient need to heal? Well, I, I, obviously a win would help, but this is a team that right now is being looked at and viewed as because of those losses you're referring to is what's wrong with San Francisco. The reality is they're still a force in the NFC. They're 0-2 in the division, and here's another divisional matchup on the road in Seattle. They need a win tonight desperately, and I feel like they've been backed into a corner a little bit. No question. Meanwhile, the Seahawks started the season 3-0, and but now they've lost two in a row. Pete Carroll, the head coach for 14 years, He's not here anymore. Mike McDonald at the age of 37 is the new man. It's a new era in Seattle. What have you seen so far? He brings obviously a youthful energy. This team's hit some adversity. He's a defensive minded head coach much like Pete. The difference is boy do they have a ton of firepower. Geno Smith right now the quarterback playing as well as anybody. A lot of great receivers and backs. Just kind of feels like a game where they're going to have to click in this new system. And if they can score they can outscore the Niners tonight. Well, this has developed into one of the most intense rivalries in the National Football League. So settle back as the Seahawks meet the 49ers on Thursday Night Football. This has been Thursday Night Kickoff, presented by Subway. Introducing the new $3 Dippers. Thursday Night Football welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Lumen Field in Seattle where the volume is always full blast. There is a big time matchup. They're trying to rally around their potential. Unbelievable Steve Largent catch. That was a laser thrown by Geno Smith. The baby face QB is fired up. Young throws to the end zone. Oh, oh, oh. What a run by Sean Alexander. Nick Bosa recovers the fumble. Sherman tips it. Smith picks it up. For Sean Lynch. Smith, get out of my way. Montana launches it for the end zone. Gary Rice touchdown. Ways to watch tonight include our Prime Vision with Next Gen Stats broadcast featuring player tracking, advanced insights, and the game from the All-22 angle. And you can also watch in Spanish with TNF and Espanol. To the field we go to Kaylee Hartung with Geno Smith. Well, Geno, with a new coaching staff and scheme here in Seattle, you're leading the league in several passing categories right now. What's enabled you to excel? Just playing fast, uh, all the players around me, you know, I think we're all doing a pretty good job, but uh, we got to keep it going. The 49ers defense has had the upper hand in this heated rivalry the last couple of years. What do you need to do to attack them tonight? Yeah, start fast, run the ball, um, you know, get the ball out of my hands, start fast, play, uh, finish on. That's it. A good plan on your birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. Thank you. So in the NFC West, Seattle, three and two, Arizona and San Francisco at two and three, and the Rams at one and four. Kyle Shanahan is in his eighth season as the 49ers head coach and Mike McDonald is in his sixth game as the Seattle head coach. Part of the tradition here raising of the flag for the 12s. Marcus Trufant spent a decade here. Great cornerback went to Washington State picked in the first round. He gets the honor tonight. Well, you're talking about everybody's talking about a perfect night for football. What's a perfect night for this? This 50, is 59 degrees. <laughs> this is great. This guys, great atmosphere, beautiful weather, and away we go. Matthew Wright, who's the new 49er kickoff when Moody got hurt last week, and his opening kick is a short one that bounces at the 10, and is run back out past the 20, 
Still on his feet to the 35-yard line. LaVisca Chennault 